Well, I'm going to start this off with uh, some olive oil and some butter. A tablespoon of butter here. Put that in there. Some onion. It's a large onion. And garlic. I'm just going to cook this over uh, medium heat until it gets soft. And I need to add a little bit of salt as well. I'm going to mix up the meatballs and I have two slices of bread here and I'm going to, I'm going to tear them up a little bit. I'm going to put some milk on them. Make sure they get uh, soaked in milk. I'm going to let these soak for a couple minutes. Well, my milk is soaked and it's pretty mushy. I'm going to take it over and to the sink and drain the milk off. Okay, let's put that bread back in there. I squished out the milk as best I could. And here I have two egg yolks and one egg. I'm going to add. Mix that around some. I'm going to add teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and some allspice, a fourth a teaspoon, a fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, put that in, I have some parsley here, put that in there, it's like three tablespoons, possibly more. And here's the onions that I cooked. I went off and watched TV for a minute and my onions got a little brown. Uh, I didn't want them to get brown, but they'll be fine. I'm going to use a pound of pork and a pound of beef. I'm going to mix this up very well. Don't worry, it'll be fine. They won't get tough. Just mix it up very well. I have my pan heating back up. And I'm going to start putting the meatballs in. I'm just going to use a cookie scoop. And see how that works out. And I'm just going to fry a few at a time. First time I've used a cookie scoop for meatballs. Okay, this is my last batch of uh, meatballs. I've been adding them, putting them in this bowl here. I'll take them out. They fried, uh, I'd say about 10 minutes, maybe not that long, but about 10 minutes. And as I was frying them, I would take some of this stuff out so it wouldn't burn. We're going to add a fourth cup of all-purpose flour. And I've been on medium heat this whole time. Let's stir this flour in. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit, medium high, add some broth, 
This is beef broth. Get this all mixed up. As soon as I smooth this out, which will happen, uh, I'll put the rest of the broth in. I'm going to add three cups of broth total. I've got, I have all the um, beef stock in there. When the pan cool down, I'm going to let it come back up to temperature. It's come up to a, a bubble. I'm going to add some pepper in here. And I'm going to add some salt because the uh, beef broth that I bought did not have any salt in it. I'm going to add a fourth a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to let this cook for about, oh, I don't know, five minutes. Just to thicken up a little bit. I'm going to turn it down so it doesn't like boil and it just gently bubbles. Okay, it's been going seven minutes. I'm going to taste it for salt. Mmm. It's very good. It's a little light on salt, but I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put some sour cream in here. About maybe three tablespoons. I'm going to turn the heat off. Set sour cream in. Put a little parsley in there. I'm going to put my meatballs back in. Get those smothered. And just allow this to uh, sit here and warm those uh, meatballs back up have some dished up and I guess my sour cream curdled a little bit there it'll still taste fine very good mmm very nice a meatball thank you so much for watching